Okay, so this is going to be the very first page of your role play. And today we're doing a hospitality and tourism team role play. But even if you aren't in this team category, these tips and tricks will still work for you. So if you go down to that bottom part of the page, you'll see the performance indicators. So those seven um, statements are going to be the most important part of your role play. The second page is the case study situation. This is where you will find what the role play is about and what tasks you have to promote to your judge. At the top of the page, you will find the roles you and your partner are to fulfill. One person will be the director of housekeeping services and the other will be the director of guest services. You then have to find in the role play what you need to present to the judge. For this specific role play, you are to create a list of common simple housekeeping refreshes guests may desire and then determine how the hotel can offer guests the ability to communicate those simple and common housekeeping refreshes to the housekeeping staff. After you and your partner have read through the role play, you're going to then connect the performance indicators to that specific role play. It's super important that you state every single performance indicator to the judge because this is what your points are based off of. It can be super helpful to just state them word for word to make it easier on the judge. This will help them understand exactly what you're talking about and will get you more points. Try to know the definitions beforehand, which means lots of studying, but if you stumble upon one that you're not quite sure of, it's okay. Just try to come up with the best definition you can or example to explain what you're trying to talk about. Saying the performance indicator is better than not knowing or saying anything at all because even if you do say something, they'll probably give you points. And it's also super important in a team event that you both contribute to the performance indicators and talking to the judge. In the hospitality and tourism industry, it's super important to communicate core values of product and service. So this means the core values help companies in the decision-making process, and the core values also educate clients and potential clients. So because the hotel had lukewarm results of the service that they offered of um, housekeeping, we can conclude that the core values within that service were not communicated well, nor distributed well. So here we made a list of products and or services that have strong core values that we'd like to include. Okay, that is all we have for you today. Thank you for listening to our ideas. We're excited to hear back from you and just get any feedback so we can put these plans into place.